Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Now as you know we've been terraforming this planet which used to look like this. Something that should probably be censored but it now looks like this. Ooh it's so blue and green and earth like. And if we load up the game this is where we got to last time. This is our awesome bridge by the way. Uh, but yeah we've brought water and grass and vines and all sorts back to the planet. And if we use our handy teleporter we can head back to our main base. Goodbye bridge. Hello base. And if we come over here and head outside and look down, you'll see... Oh, look at all the trees. Look at all the trees. So yeah, if we jump down, don't worry, we do actually have a jetpack. Look, we've even got butterflies. Now, the aim this episode, I'm going to... I want to try and spam butterflies. I want to know if I place loads of these in one area, will the sky just fill with butterflies? Now, that's not all we're doing today. No, 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 no. I've, I've missed a huge biome, apparently. So let's come in here. Let's grab an oxygen capsule for the road. Let's also grab a couple of eggplants from the eggplant pile. So we'll grab the one in there and one on the floor. So that's sorted. <laughs> There's so many. I might actually be moving these today. Because basically, this is fine. This is where I grow them currently. I grow every every single one of these things has an eggplant growing in it. So they take one seed. And over time, this has allowed me to hoard quite a pile. If we head back in our teleporter, back to the bilf, the bridge I'd love to f***. Uh, over this way, these are the new outdoor farms. And for one seed, you can get five eggplants out of them. So if I just make lots of outdoor plants, we should have a lot more eggplants. But anyway, that's, that's something for a little bit later. I'm going to go explore because I, I sort of missed out last time, apparently. So in the teleporter, we've got a teleporter set up at so much stuff. This was the new area we explored last time. And it was very dark and cool looking. And essentially I was distracted by all the crates with all the cool new things and all the stuff and you know how it is, you know how it is. Because when I went through this way last time, you'll probably remember the bridge review we did of that over there. And you'll probably remember as well, we, we found this waterfall and I was, I guess I was a bit too distracted by this. Probably because of the shape that you might be able to see those who are also cursed by the strongest shape. That apparently I missed an entire biome. I didn't explore thoroughly enough. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go explore these rocks. I'm gonna explore all around and see what we can find. Yeah, but first I'm heading back to my teleporter because you can see my oxygen is running out very much. If we can find our teleporter, we can get back to our base and get our oxygen. There it is. Right, so we'll quickly jump in here. Head back to our base and then, oh look, our oxygen is being replenished. So back here I will pick up this teleporter because I can do that. I've just deconstructed it. I've got all the resources as you can see there. And then we're going to go exploring whilst holding the teleporter resources so that I can quickly build another one should I need to scarper. Uh, first off, I do need to get some water. So I'll come over to this and I'll drink it. Nice. And then I've just got my health to regen. I can do that by eating an eggplant or two. So now our bars are completely full. We can continue exploring. Wait, what the hell? I'm really confused. I swear there was a rock there a second ago. Has the game just glitched out? I swear this was a rock. Yep, thought so. I'm like, I'm in the rock. I'm in the rock. What? I'm really confused. Why is this happening? Look, I'm inside. Ah. Oh, now there's a now there's a crate here. This wasn't here before. I think we'll take some of this stuff. And then we'll quickly build a teleporter. So we'll wang that there. Jump in. Teleport back to base. Drink up that oxygen. While storing some of my new stuff. Whilst I'm here, I will come to this thing because I want to get more bee lava so I can make more outdoor farms. So inside we've just got to shove an uncommon lava which I've got one of, some fertilizer and some mutagen and we press the research button and start sequencing and then hopefully that will get us some more bees. Meanwhile we're back here because we're going for another explore. So nothing around that way just rocks that keep disappearing and reappearing. What about over towards the bridge and the other bits and bobs over this end? Alright, so what's over here? Oh, 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 look, I found a cave. Oh, oh, that was weird. I feel like the game's a bit broken today. <laughs> it doesn't usually behave like this. But, whoa, look at this place. It's so big. It's so mushroomy. And there's, there's a river. Can I drink? Shall I drink the mushroom water? I don't know if that's sensible. No, oh, I drank it. Apparently I'm fine. Cool. Right, so we've got lockers down here with oh, loads of good stuff. We've got more seagull toes. There's like a huge tree in the middle. It's like it's on a moat. It's a tree moat. Do you think there's anything up there? Let's glitch up. So I managed to climb to the top. I definitely didn't glitch with F4. Uh, hell of a view from up here. I'm a little bit concerned about my oxygen though. Shall I, shall I do the teleporter up here? So let's build a teleporter there. Hop inside. 
Head back to base for a second just to get some oxygen. Anyway, back in here, let's deconstruct the teleporter and let's go have a proper explore down here. It's a very cool place, but I'm not actually seeing too much stuff. Although, what is this? Is that an old... Is that like a water wheel? What is this? Did this used to be like a bridge? That looks like a bridge. Oh god, here we go again. It's time for a bridge review! It's a few old scraps of wood, but it's on Mars, which means that humans were there first. There's a stone tablet which explains that someone called the Warden was building a settlement. There's also glowy butterfly lava nearby. So I give this bridge a 4.1 out of 10 bridge review. So yeah, that was really, really unexpected. That's quite a cool little twist to this game. I was not expecting there to be like life, human life underground. So I wonder if these mushrooms were here before I started terraforming. I imagine they were. Anyway, what's in this crate? We got some fertilizer, some rocket engines, some rare seeds, all good stuff. Okay, so heading up here, is this another exit? Oh, it's another, okay, so it's another entrance. You can actually get to it from this side. Interesting, I completely missed this last time. Can't believe there's two ways in and I couldn't, I didn't find any. Oh, look, there's more, there's another bridge down here. And another water wheel. Can't seem to see a stone tablet around this one, though. Oh, there is another butterfly thing, though. We'll have some of you. There's another crate with more good stuff. Oh, so many rocket engines. This is awesome. I'm literally going to have to spend an episode just, like, launching rockets into space, I think. By the way, sorry if I'm talking weird today. It's, like, it's so hot in the UK right now. It's over 30 degrees. And then playing this game, my computer's just, like, blowing hot air into my face. And, like, I'm actually struggling to breathe. It's so warm. <laughs> but I think we've probably seen all there is to see, which I'm pretty impressed with, to be honest. It's a very cool place. I had no idea it was here. Thanks if you did comment last time, by the way. I probably would have missed this without you guys. So we'll say goodbye to the mushroom area. We'll head up here. And oh, where's the exit going? Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. I'm under the sea. Under the sea. I'm under the sea. Oh, look, all the mushrooms have gone when you look back down there. <laughs> the game's acting very weird today. I can only assume it's the temperature of my computer right now. But yeah, this gives you an idea of how big this blooming map is. Like, how big is this cave? Anyway, we're back in our base. Let's shove all of our stuff in. Oh, the stuff is full. Let's shove more stuff in there. Oh, that's also full. What about too much stuff? We've got some room and too much stuff. So we'll fill that up. And yeah, these butterflies, look, they have an 800 times multiplier. So first off, can I build a butterfly thing? I still can't build one. What the hell? Yep, so that's our next unlock. And it's the final unlock as well. We need 3.25 kilotons of plants to unlock that. We've got 2.67 at the moment. Yeah, and it looks like plants is just biomass. So if I go outside and I guess I could plant like tree spreaders, they're pretty good yeah, add 680 plants a second, as well as 12 and a half thousand oxygen. So we'll try and get the resources for that. We need bacteria, zeolite, fertilizer T2, and tree bark. So the question is, do I have any tree seeds? All right, after looking through all of them, even bits and bobs, I couldn't find any tree seeds, which means we're going to have to make some ourselves. So over here, this is our DNA sequencer. So we can go into there, and we've got all different tree seed recipes. You can see we need... We need tree bark and mutagen for all of them. So yeah, we're going to have to go make some mutagen. And we can make that in this machine. So for mutagen, we need bacteria, methane and sulfur. Now thankfully I've got a mutagen locker which has most of the ingredients. So we'll grab some methane. We'll go into the eggy farts locker to grab the sulfur. And then we can make a load of mutagen. And then if we just head into the left nut of our base, grab some more tree bark. We can then head over to the DNA thing. We can we can do one of these, well, we could do any of these recipes pretty much. So let's shove in some tree bark, the mutagen, and this, the plant volnus. That's a oxygen multiplier of 500%, which is really good. So we'll hit research on that, start sequencing. Right, so that's making us a tree seed. So let's head outside because our water is running out. I do actually need to grab some resources from down there. So I'll slurp the water for myself, head over to these two dish things because they have water in them and we'll need that to make more bacteria and mutagen. We'll head back up to our base which is all the way up in the air because I was a bit worried about the floodwaters. Because as we were terraforming we were making water and the floodwaters were coming. In fact my first base got flooded. So we'll make a little bit more bacteria whilst we're here. Make a few more fertilizer T2s out of those resources. Mmm, fertilizer T2. 
There it is. So we can grab that tree seed and I'm going to leave another one in there whilst I'm doing something else. So we'll shove that in with the plant arima because that will give us tree seed humilora. I'm learning all these words. So we're going to head into our teleporter. We're going to go to the bilf and we're going to come over here. Wang down a tree spreader T3. Oh, the power's gone. Okay, so we're just going to quickly shove the, the tree seed in there. That will make a tree once we get power. But first, we need more power. So back into the teleporter, which thankfully, they still work. Even though there's no power. Don't ask how, it's teleporter technology. And usually, I would be building some nuclear reactors T2s. But since we now have a source of pulsar quartz, one of the most rare resources in the game, I can probably build a nuclear fusion generator. That makes 1485 energy compared to the reactor, which only makes 331 and a half. So we'll grab some super alloy, we'll grab some pulsar quartz, which I was saving just to do teleporters, but look how much I've got. I've got so much. I can afford it. So we've got five of those, four super alloys. So that will be line of spheres. They're all my nuclear reactors. I'm going to dwarf them with the new nuclear fusion generator. So, oh, it's tiny. It's actually tiny. Why is it so small? I don't like how small it is. I'm going to put it there. And apparently that makes more power than like all of them combined almost. Oh, wow. And look, <laughs> look at the shape of it. It's got like two square testicles. But that is a very efficiently designed power source. And oh, down here, there's another seagull tote. So we'll grab that. So back up here, the, the DNA manipulator isn't done yet. Only 60% of the way. So I do have another task that needs doing. So let's teleport back to the bilf once again. Now I'm going to need some silicon for this. So let's grab all this silicon, which proper messes the screen up. I don't know what's going on there. That's horrible. But anyway, we've got the silicon. Let's head on to our bridge. And then let's build some of these, the new fences. Because look, we can add safety rails to our bridge. Because at the moment, it's not the safest thing you've ever seen. So just a few more fences to go. And there we go. We have a safe bridge now. And I guess that means we got to do a new bridge review. A huge cable stay bridge that's now safe thanks to these safety barriers. This bridge's cables are easy to maintain thanks to their stair soft solution. The view from up top is exceptional as it spans a massive canyon. The bridge piers allow you to go inside and gain oxygen. And the bridge is so good looking and useful that a local teleportation service even named their teleporter after it. So with all that in mind, the new score for this is up from 9.3 to a massive 9.5 out of 10. Bridge review! Anyway, with that done, we're back in our base. Because in the DNA manipulator, we have another tree seed. So we'll grab that. We'll sequence a new tree seed to be done. And then we'll head back to the bilf. Ooh, 9.5 out of 10. To go and plant some more trees. Ooh, look at this. They're quite weird looking. Let's plant another one next to it. So tree spreader, you can go there. We're going to shove in the new seed. Nice. And then we'll see what that grows into. Hopefully this will like make this area a bit more dense with trees. It's a bit sparse at the moment. Uh, before we head back, I am just going to quickly head down here and get some water before I die. Slurpy, slurpy. I'm also then going to pick up all these eggplants. And this is where I want to do my test. Now I'm wondering, is this game like Hydroneer? Could I build a bridge out of like any resource? So in Hydroneer, you may remember, it was possible to build things. So let's grab, is there any iron in here? Yeah, there's some iron there and a bit more up top. So let's build some stairs like that and a foundation block there. And then I basically just want to, I want to stand on here and drop an eggplant or two. I then want to drop some on the stairs as well. So we'll drop all those. All right, and now it's nighttime. Man, eggplants are quite creepy looking at nighttime. But I want to know, if I were to delete that, will the eggplant fall down? So deconstruct. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. You know what this means, don't you? You know what this means. I think we're building an eggplant bridge at some point. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, that's the next big project, I guess. So I guess the question is, where do we build this new masterpiece? I sort of feel like over that gap would be good. Because then we can use this bridge to get over this direction. And then off this end, we're sort of, we're a little bit trapped. But if we had a bridge, we could get to whatever's over there. I think there's, can you see, is that a bit of zeolite over there? Now ignore the vine, we need a bridge to get over there. That is the only way to get across. 
So I think that's what we'll start slowly building at some point. For now, I need to do more upgrades so that we can get more outdoor farms. Because if you remember, we're still trying to unlock the butterfly farm. So we need just 0.1 kiloton of plants left. So hopefully, assuming we've sequenced another tree seed, which we have, nice. And then back here, we can come over here. Oh, look at all these plants growing. This is nice. We can come over here, build a tree spreader T3, another one, put that seed in it. And then hopefully we should unlock the butterfly farm thing pretty soon. Oh, look, the eggplants are still floating. That's awesome. I knew you would finally have a use for all those eggplants back at my base. But yeah, in order to get more outdoor farms, I do actually need some bee lava. So I need uncommon lava, mutagen and fertilizer. So in the bug snacks container, we've got some uncommon lava. And down here, we got fertilizer. So we can shove those three in and hope that we get another bee lava. And then what I might try, I don't know if it will work, but if I create a beehive which uses a bee lava, perhaps I'll produce more bee lava? I mean, it literally doesn't say that it does. It just says increases plants and insects. So I'm not going to hold my breath, but still. Aha, there we go. The butterfly farm is now unlocked. Oh my good. What the hell is going on outside? Let's go outside. Oh, it is just yellow. What the? <laughs> Through the glass, it looked all green outside. Whoa, that's weird. That's really weird. Anyway, yep, we've now unlocked the butterfly farm finally. Oh, we need fertilizer T2 for that as well. Still, I want to get going with that because that was the aim of this video. So bug snacks, we've got the 800% butterfly future lava. So we'll grab those. I'm sort of intrigued by all of them, to be honest. So I might grab one of each. We need zeolite and bioplastic nuggets. So I got bioplastic nuggets. I got zeolite. Let's head down here, grab a bit of drinking water. And then right, these are our old butterfly farms. I'm going to, I am actually going to pick these up. So we'll grab the lava out there. We'll pick that up. There's another one somewhere. Yeah, over this way. So again, we'll pick up the lava. Pick that up. And should I take these to my bridge? Is it better to have a butterfly bridge than a butterfly nothing? So here we are. I sort of want to see how these are going to work. So if I shove one butterfly farm... Oh, I can't shove it on the rock. Can I shove it on the bridge? No, I can't shove it on the bridge either. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, we'll shove it over here for now. So there's one there. Let's put in the 800% one. So that has gone in. We got loads of butterflies zinging around. Oh, look, they're really pretty. So you can sort of see that's how many butterflies you get out of one thing. So if I now build another one, if I put it right next to it, like as close as we can go, and then shove those in, do we... Oh, look, it does. I wasn't sure if you could only have a certain number of butterflies in one space or not. So if I now shove another one down, like there in the middle. Oh, wow, we could make a butterfly absolute mess of carnage. I can actually build another butterfly farm. I'm going to do it. We're just going to... This is all we're doing now. Butterfly farms for days. Oh, <laughs> there's so many butterflies. Oh. oh, look, the eggplants have grown again already as well. Nice. Let's grab all five of those from each farm. I really... I need the bee lava. Let's go see if we've got the bee lava already. So, back in the teleporter, back over to this thing. I don't see any bees in there. Oh, it's another blooming silkworm. All right, someone did actually say to me, if I build, there's a recycling machine. So that breaks down objects into their core opponents. So we need two microchip deconstructors, which I believe we make in this, right? Yeah, so silicon and magnesium. So we got magnesium in this pile. There's somehow still silicon in this pile. So we're making those chips. Nice. Then we grab three super alloys and then we can make the recycling machine, which I'm going to shove over here. All right, nice. Then we can come up to this. Where's where's the hand? Oh, it's, the, it's this end. Okay, so in there we shove the silkworm and then press the button and then that gets recycled into, oh yeah, mutagen, fertilizer and uh, <laughs> the seagull toe. Oh, and it's all moving. I sort of want to, I want to make a pile of those as well just to see them all wriggle everywhere. So much I want to do in this game. But yeah, then we can just shove it back in here till we get the bee lava, I guess. Decent. That's quite cool, actually. Let's go into our bug snacks locker and grab all the silkworms because we, we don't care about them. And then let's recycle them all. Sorry, Mr. Worm. You're now bits and bobs. All right, decent. So whenever this is done... Ooh, I didn't know that you could see the lava while it was in there. 
Anyway, that's 60% of the way there. That's nearly done. And if we don't do it, we'll just do more of those, I guess. Aha, and look, we have bees. We've got bees. So we'll grab the bee lava. We'll then grab one of each ingredient so we can shove those back in. And whilst that's sequencing, I am gonna I'm gonna find out whether a beehive will give us what we want, more bee lava. So buy a plastic nugget, bit of fertilizer, and then we'll come over here. Oh, look at the butterflies, they're so nice. Shove a beehive down, and then we'll click on this to see if it makes bee lava. Oh, it doesn't, it makes honey. That's a new resource, isn't it? I don't know anything about honey. Oh, but look, there's bees everywhere. So yeah, annoyingly, it seems like this isn't gonna make bee lava, but it's gonna make honey. No idea what we use that for, but oh man. <laughs> Oh, look, we got more bee lava. Decent. So we'll grab that, shove those three in, hit research and sequence. Because remember, we need a lot of bee lava for our outdoor farm. We need two bee lava for each one. That is, that is annoying. Oh, and finally, I've unlocked pulsar quartz, which means, is it in this machine? Yes, I can make pulsar quartz in here. Osmium, zeolite, iridium, uranium and methane. Oh, nice. That is almost an unlimited supply of that. Oh, and that's what honey does. It makes high quality food out of honey and beans. That's quite an unusual combo. But nice, cool. I think we, we've sort of progressed as far as we can at the moment. I mean, I, I could always collect more trophies, very efficient trophies. But I think the only real thing left to do is to build an eggplant bridge and also keep spamming butterfly nests. So yep, as we watch our forest mature, I guess there's nothing else to say but peace, love and butterfly covered bridges. Bye guys!